guys, NRL Vid 090 back here in our video today. Today I'll be getting into my um, round 9 tips for uh, 2020. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first game is the Cowboys and the Roosters at um, Queensland Country Bank Stadium, which is in Townsville. That's Cowboys home ground. Uh, the team changes. So uh, Justin O'Neill and Tom Opachik are both out for the Cowboys. Replacing replacing them, uh, Con Connolly Lumi Lou comes into the centres for the Cowboys, and Valentine Holmes moves to the wing from fullback. So home Valentine Holmes goes to the wing, and Hamiso Tobias Fidea comes into the uh, Cowboys team and plays fullback. Uh, is there any more changes changes for the Cowboys? Uh, no, doesn't seem like it. But Tom Gilbert comes on the bench for the Cowboys. For the Roosters, Boyd Corden is out, and Daniel Tupo. Uh, Ryan Hall replaces Daniel Tupo, Daniel Tupo on the wing. And replacing Boy Corner in the back row is... Um, oh, sorry. My laptop's just done something here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's at Angus Crichton to replace Boy Corner in the back row. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double-check that. Um, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, so Angus Crichton replaces Boy Corner in the back row. And um, coming off the bench will be Lachlan Lamb uh, for the Roosters. So... The odds, the Roosters are $1 at $1.18, and the Cowboys are $5, cheese. Um, I'm going to go the Roosters here, 30 points to 12. I feel like they have too much class. Uh, unfortunately, I like to see the Cowboys get up for it, but I just can't see it. Just, I don't know, the defense isn't great, and the Roosters the Roosters will just be um, in domination mode, I think, and it'll just be too tough for the Cowboys at the end. So I'm going to go the Roosters here, 30 points to 12. Um, now on Friday, Friday uh, afternoon, it's the Gold Coast Titans take on the uh, New Zealand Warriors at Seabus Super Stadium in the Gold Coast. Um, the team changes, so uh, it's just loading. Um, yes, yeah, so the team changes. Mitch Rain for the Titans, Titans is out. Replace, replacing Mitch Rain at hooker is um, Aaron Clark. And, um, yeah, and that's the only change the Titans really have, except um, Bo Furmore is playing the centres again, I think, yeah, from, from what it looks like. And um, someone and someone's going to make a debut for the Titans called Tremaine Tre Spry, Tre Tre Spry um, apparently will make his debut for the Titans on the wing. For the Warriors, um, not many changes except Roger Tuivasa Shek comes back from his shoulder charge suspension at fullback, and um, Cody Nicarima's the other Warriors side, and Chanel Harris Tavita starts at starts in the halves. It's a good idea, I reckon. Carl Lawton plays lock for this game, and um, Jazz Tavago's back for the Warriors, so and he's a good player, Tavago, on his day, so that's not bad. Uh, the odds, the Warriors are one dollar ninety, and sells the Titans. The Titans are also one dollar ninety, so the odds are equal there. I'm gonna tip the Warriors here by six. I think they're gonna win twenty six points to twenty. I can actually see this game being a high scoring game because both teams can't really defend well at all, and both teams have have some points in them. But that's only because it's one shit team versus another shit team. No offense, but it's kind of how the, how it is. But I feel like be, I feel like there'll be, be a few points to score in this game somehow. Um, and I think Roger Tuivasa-Shek will have a field day, and he will get the Warriors to win. So I'll go the Warriors here, 26 points to 20 over the Titans. Now, the other Friday night game, it's between the Tigers and the Rabbitohs, and this will be interesting because Tigers have looked good so far, and the Rabbitohs have been 50-50 with their form. Uh, this game's at Bankwest Stadium, so I'll go for the team changes for you. Uh, just, um, uh, it's just loading my laptop. Um, yeah, I'd better hurry up. Okay, sorry guys, my laptop's been a bit slow for loading up the Rabbitohs and Tigers team list. Um, don't know why it's doing it, but um, yeah, should get it uh, ready now. Uh, yes, here we go. Uh, it's just just loading. Um, sorry for the wait. Uh, again. Uh, sorry, I don't know what's happening, guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's taking. I don't know what's happening here. It's just taking so long to load. I don't get it. Should work this time, it should. Yeah, here we go. Sorry, guys, for the wait. My stupid laptop. Okay, guys, now let's get into the, the team list for the Tigers and Rabbitohs. So, for the Rabbitohs, um, Brayden Burns dislocated, dislocated his knee against the Bulldogs on Sunday, so and he'll be out for the rest of the season. So, replacing him is um, 
Uh, does anyone replace him? No, because he was playing off the bench in that game. So, uh, Patrick Mago is back. Is falling back from his peck, in, peck injury suffered in the trial matches against the Dragons. So, yeah, Patrick Mago is um is back for the Rabbitohs. So he comes off the bench. Uh, to only change for the Rabbitohs. Uh, for the Tigers, Joey Le Lewis obviously suspended. So replacing him in the centers is Michael Cheekham. and um, <clears throat> which means um. Chris Lawrence joins the bench for the Tigers, so he's back after a while. The odds, the Tigers are $2.65, the Rabbitohs are $1.48. Uh, I'm going to see the Rabbitohs here. I feel like I feel like they have a bit more points than them. I know they didn't convincingly beat the Bulldogs well, but I had a bit of a think about this game because you can go, it can, this can go either way, I reckon. I think Tigers can definitely turn up, but I feel like they just... Got more points than the Rabbitohs. I feel like, you know, Cody Walker is obviously looking looking great under the new rules, and I feel like he'll assist a few tries. Um, Damien Cook is starting to run the, ball a bit, run the ball a bit more, but um, not enough, I don't think, but he'll have a better game, I reckon. Um, yeah, I'm going to Rabbitohs adjust. I'm going to go, uh, I think Rabbitohs will win 18 points to 10 over the Tigers on Friday. <coughs> um, yeah, Saturday, uh... The first game of Saturday is the Sharks and the Panthers um, at Nestrada uh, Jubilee Stadium. Uh, this should be a good game, I reckon. Yeah, for the team changes. Uh, for the Sharks, Matt Mullins obviously out because he did his hamstring again. So Josh Dugan goes to fullback and Bryson Goodwin shifts into the centres. And Ronaldo Bortalo goes to the wing for the uh, Sharks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's the only change for the, for the Sharks in that, for that game. Um, for the uh, Panthers, Brian Toto has obviously injured himself, so he'll be out for a while. Um, Brett Naden remains on the wing. And Dean Ware is back in the side in the centres for the Panthers, so that's the only change. And yeah, um, both teams are 1-17, basically. So for, so for the odds now, the Panthers are $1.50, the Sharks are $2.60. Going to back the Panthers here. I feel like they... They're really impressing me at the moment. They, I think they're um, a real contention for the Premiership this year. And I feel like they'll just get Cronulla here. I know, I think this will be tight. But, yeah, I feel like Apisai Corusel will back up his form from last week, what he did against the Tigers. I also feel like um, Dylan Edwards might have, have another solid game for the Panthers at the back. And Jerome Luai, I think, will, um, yeah, he'll have another outstanding game. So... I'm going to go to the Panthers here to win 20 points to 12 over the Sharks. <coughs> Probably a bad cough. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, far out. Uh, for the second game of Saturday, uh, we've got the Bulldogs and the Broncos, and this is a snooze fest. But anyway, but anyway uh, a Suncorp Stadium where it's, play where it's played. <coughs> far out. Sorry, guys. Okay, so for the Broncos, they're one to seventeen from what it looks like. Doesn't seem to be much changes. Um, yeah, are they one to seventeen? Oh no, Savina Pango Jr. moves the prop, and coming into the back row is Corey Oates. Patrick Carrigan goes to lock, and um, yeah, that's a, that's the uh, team for the uh, Broncos. For the Bulldogs, Adam Elliott is unfortunately out for the rest of the season because he did his shoulder against the Rabbitohs on Sunday. So coming in and his position is Luke Thompson, the new Bulldog from uh, the Super League. So I'm, I'm actually interested to see how he plays, and uh, I think he'll do well. Yes, yeah, so Luke Thompson goes to lock, and coming off the bench will be um, Renolf Tamaga, I believe, who's um, back in the side. And, yeah. Uh, the odds, the odds, the odds. The Bulldogs are $2.35. The Broncos are $1.60. Um, uh, back the Bulldogs here. Uh, this was a bit tough to pick actually, because I uh, know both teams are struggling at the moment, and um, yeah, this gives a toss to the coin, I believe. Um, I just feel like Broncos have too much dramas. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to recover from all of them um that quickly. And I thought the Bulldogs actually play a played all right against the Rabbitohs, but <clears throat> obviously they attack let them down, but. The Bron the Bulldogs have a decent record against Broncos, so I'm gonna back the Bulldogs here to win. Uh twenty-two points to do twenty-two points to twelve, I said, yep. Yeah. <coughs> Moving on to the last game of Super Saturday, it's between the 
Uh, Raiders and the Storm. This is a big game. And the Raiders have um, have won their past few games against the Storm, so this will be interesting. Oh, yeah, and the game will be played at GIO Stadium. That's where the game will be played at. <sighs> the team changes. Um, Emre Gula and uh, Sia Saliola are both out for the... No, not out for the year, I don't think, but they're going to be, they're going to be uh, missing... They won't be back in the field for an extended period of time, so replacing Sia Soliola at prop uh, is Dynamis Louis. And replacing Emre Gula off the bench is Kai O'Donnell, who makes his NRL debut for the Raiders. For the Melbourne Storm, um, Sulia Sivonavala is out, so Marion, Marion Seve goes to the wing, and um, yeah, that's pretty much the team for the, um, the Melbourne Storm. Uh, so the odds, the Storm are two dollars and the Raiders are one dollars eighty. So the Raiders are slight favourites to win this one actually, which I'm a bit surprised about. Um, I'm gonna go to the Storm here. I, I just the Raiders are just suffering at the moment. Their attacks it just I don't know their their attacks pretty much shot at the moment. Unfortunately, I don't want to say that because I like Raiders in a way, but it's the truth. They're not playing great at the moment with with their attack. Um, and I think the Storm will take a lot of confidence here yeah, that. Uh, epic win over the Roosters, so I think they'll be too good. Um, uh, the Storm, so I'll go to the Storm to beat beat the um <clears throat> to beat the Raiders twenty four points to ten. Um, now Sunday, we've got the uh Eels versus the Knights <coughs> at Newcastle. Um, this this will be another great game. I reckon this this could be in in, uh, in contention for the game of the round. I believe. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so getting into the team changes So for the Knights uh, Just loading it Here we go The Knights uh, The team changes are Edric Lee uh, Broke his arm against Manly Or Reese I think So he'll miss uh, quite a while So Tex Hoy goes to the wing Before he uh, replaces him on the wing And uh, Sione Mataria uh, Suffered a um, A concussion against Manly as well So Anguira goes to the back row and coming off the bench is Starford Toa and uh, Brody Jones. For the Eels, they're 1 to 17, I believe. I <coughs> know oh, they're not. Um, Stefano Utoi Kamanu will make his NRL debut off the bench. And um, yeah, it looks like Oregon Kafusi or Ray Stone will both drop off. Um, the odds the, uh, the Eels are $1.60, the Knights are $2.35. Going to take the Eels here. Knights have a, actually a decent record against the Eels, but I feel like Eels will be too strong. They're showing a bit of form at the moment. Gufferson's in career best form at the moment. Uh, and no one can stop Sevo. I don't know who could stop him. Only a few players can, but at the moment, he's just a beast on the wing. Uh, Junior Pulo's playing some great form at the moment, and uh, Dylan Brown's really stepped up ever since Moses, Moses has been out. Um, not to, they had a good win over Manly, they were gutsy, and, uh, yeah, they'll be in the contest for sure, but I'm gonna go to the Eels to beat the Knights 17 points to 10, I think Dylan Brown will get a late field goal, and that will ice the game. Now, the last game, last game round 9, it's between Manly and the Dragons at Nostrad Jubilee Stadium, um, to the team changes, so, for Manly, uh, Manly... Well, we've obviously lost Adam Fanua Blake, um, unfortunately for Manly, we've lost Fanua Blake, and uh, oops, sorry guys, just a bit of a, yeah, and um, replacing Adam Fanua Blake a prop is uh, Tangela Paseca, and um, coming off the bench is Morgan Boyle, and I'm actually quite happy to see Morgan Boyle come up, Morgan Boyle come off the bench because whenever he's played, he's done really decent. I think he should get a permanent, permanent um, first grade spot somewhere, I believe. Uh, for the Dragons, they're one to seventeen, but uh, Tarek Sims is back for them, so that's a big boost. And Ben Hunt starts a hooker, and Cameron McInnes goes to lock. Um, yeah, they're one to seventeen. The Dragons. So the odds mainly are one dollar and sixty seven. The Dragons are two dollars twenty. Guys. You know how much how passionate I am about Manly because uh, they're my team. And I really I uh, really love them to death, Manly. Uh, but I'm not going to tip for this game. I feel like we just have too much issues. Um, I don't want to say it, but no no turbo, no Manly. Unfortunately, that's what I've learned uh, over the past few weeks. <clears throat> 
And uh, I don't know where our points come from. I think only Cherry Evans is the only one that really gets us points. And maybe Cust, but that's about it. And um, I know Ruben Garrick did all right at fullback. Did decent against Knights there, but I don't know. He doesn't provide the points, I don't think. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I just don't think Manly will, will be up for it. It will be close, but I don't know. Main Dragons here. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong, but I'm going to tip the Dragons here to win um, 14, points, 14 points to 10. So guys, that's my round nine NRL tips for twenty twenty. Let me know your let me know yours in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share to share uh, to your friends and all that. And um, hopefully you um enjoy the video. So guys, see you on Thursday for my rugby the uh, fantastic rugby league show. So I hopefully you enjoy that. So see you guys. Bye.